Hello my YouTube friends, Dave Wilson here. Well, I've got one project finished. Uh, I've got the arc done for the Bamboo Lab P1P. It's an enclosure that uh, should allow me to print higher temperature materials and it keeps the uh, drafts out so the materials won't warp. But what it does is, um, here's the door. So it's made out of uh, plexiglass and printed parts. So I printed these black columns, the white parts, but the kit that I got uh, purchased was all the plexiglass and the hardware. So I'll rotate this. So one of the plexiglass panels here, the hardware to mount the spool holder, hardware for the tops and the sides. And what I really like is the gentleman that put this kit together, the hardware and the plexiglass panels, uh, he supplied a lot of extra hardware so that um, here's the same problem I do When you're starting to put something like this together you drop something and if you've got exactly the right number of parts You're in trouble. So uh, he wisely created a parts list with almost twice as many as some of the parts So I really appreciate that so The kit uh, I got a, on a pre-order set was $79. I think it's about 99 now, but uh, it's really nice because uh, this will allow me to print a lot more material on it. So I'm going to put that back in its home. And I mentioned these tokens I printed on the uh, uh, X1 Carbon for my daughter. So I've got three sets in that one, two sets in this one, different colors. And somebody asked me about the waste. So here's the waste chute from printing all those. So it's, it's significant, but you know, it's manageable. What I'm printing now is I'm going to try to do something with my filament rack. Um, <clears throat> I, I can get at least one or two more shelves in there. So I started looking at different designs. And a gentleman had this um, where you print some of the corner pieces and then you take two by fours and cut them into squares. So I printed a test piece. I'm glad I did because it didn't come out to... Uh, one and a half inches it came out to just a little over one and a quarter so I modified it to make it one and a half inches I'm printing another test piece and so this one hopefully it'll fit a little bit better and if it works then I'll try to put at least one shelf together and see how that works and with my filament winder I'm trying to make some spools one of the difficulties I found with the filament winder is uh, getting good spools to be the uh, uh, new one, one that the filament goes on. So I found this design. It prints in two halves and they screw together. But if I can get that to work then I can have a supply of exactly the same size spools and then possibly redesign that filament winder to fit this better. So this is a one half. This will be the other half. And I thought I'd print them in two different colors so I know the two halves aren't identical. So I'll know which one is the right and which one's the left, you might say. But uh, one of my next projects, it's not really one I planned, but I've got to get all of my parts put back into their little containers over here. And that's what got me started. I think I'm going to try to build some kind of shelf for that. I've got all these little Harbor Freight uh, little plastic container holders. And uh, I like to get those so I can get to them a lot easier. Um, but I've got little parts drawers everywhere. There's a bunch here. Some over here. I just got them floating around here everywhere. So I've got to get this organized again. But um, that's where I'm at. So got a lot of projects going on as usual. But I'm going to get this guy back home and get them all hooked up again. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, leave them and any comments. I appreciate them. Thank you.